Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TV and our frags, the game Preston here, and I've finally done it. Now, you guys might be wondering yourself, what have you done, Preston, that is so exciting that you have to scream at the top of your lungs? Well, ever since Black Ops 3 has come out, I've had, like, this really weird lag issue, and I've always had random frame stutters and frame drops and crazy stuff like that for no reason. I mean, my computer is, I think I paid $6,000 for it. I paid a lot of money for this computer because I didn't make it myself, which I should have. It was a waste of money, and you always want to build your computers, especially if you want to save money and know that you're going to have the best computer out there. So, anyways, we're using the SVG 100. I have gone in and tweaked my settings in Black Ops 3 through the config in the Steam apps file, and I'll try to maybe link that down below if I can try to help you guys fix yours, but no matter what I tried, if I was filming, if I was not filming, I was always having really, really strange and bizarre lag issues, and it was frustrating me because I know it's not an excuse to not post very frequently, but whenever you get on and you're like, yeah, I'm going to film an FPS game, like, this is going to be awesome and then the, all of a sudden your experience is essentially ruined because you're having like these crazy lag stutters drops when you've spent so much money on your computer for the specific reason that you are a YouTuber and you want to film videos for your viewers. It is very irritating and I finally managed to pinpoint it down. It was something to do I think within my config and it just wasn't like working out or something like that but I managed to put <coughs> everything to maximum graphics right now while I'm filming. I think I have almost everything to maximum. Not quite sure. Just got killed by One Punch Man. Your boy Saitama Sensei. That was fantastic. If you guys get the reference from One Punch Man. Now, yeah, it's pretty awesome because not having any lag while I'm filming or while I'm playing is pretty much like you know, it's huge. It's like detrimental when you have lag. Cause like in COD, lag is everything. Like if I wasn't somebody who was filming and didn't have a good computer, I would much rather prefer my settings at the lowest possible so that I could get the smoothest frames. So that, you know, obviously I could stay on target better and aim better. Like if you don't have a smooth frame rate, it's just not worth it. Like graphics are not worth the sacrifice and decreased performance. It, I'm sorry, but it just, it never is. It never ever is. So don't even think for a second it is. If you guys are like, hmm, I don't know if I should run this game at like max graphics or save on the lag. I would probably always 110% say, please save on the lag. Just turn your graphics down for gosh darn sakes. Like literally back in the old Call of Duties when you played it competitively, people had configuration folders that you could put in your files and they had them there just so for the expl explicit reason so you could just have bad, F like, bad graphics but your FPS would be awesome. Because getting like 333 frames per second was like the bee's knees. Like right now I'm getting like 87 to 120, which is not bad. You know, it's not great, but it's not bad. And I mean, like I've got a really beast computer. I've got like two 980 Ti's. I've got a 5960X overclock currently. And I've also got, uh, what else, what else? I've also got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And I was still lagging when I wasn't even filming. And I was just like, what the heck is this? I was like, I know there's a random issue or program or something like that. And I just went in my config files and I just maxed everything out, like on the uh, processing side. Side, like googled around and tried to get the best things because I've got like an eight core Intel processor not the AMD one but the Intel one and it's really really good and so it doesn't make any sense that I'm using like 10% of my CPU and I'm having frame setters it's like okay this computer is more than ample enough or this processor sorry to handle these graphical settings and record at the same time and it's like what even when I'm not recording I'm getting this lag so there's got to be some kind of like factor in here that's not making any sense like something's not adding up and I found what wasn't adding up and it was just like settings on my config file it's like as simple as that like all I had to do was tinker with it a little bit more and I should have done that from like the get-go you know what I mean but like I for some reason didn't I'm just stupid and and, and it's not even lazy I was just like I, I didn't honestly even know that you could do that I see your boy side to my sensei he's running around he's trying to go for the knife kill Where's the- oh, there he is! I knew it. He comes in at the worst time when I'm not looking at the freaking door. And now I'm 9 and 7! 9 and 7! This is awful. This guy on the team right now is 12 and 2. is carrying our sorry butt. Because we are not doing the work that we need to do. God's work is not being done right now. And as you can tell, I'm kind of like gleaming with joy because this lag issue is fixed. Like, you have no idea the peace at mind I now have when filming videos. It's like, yes! I can film in super high quality for my viewers and not experience crazy random lag spikes that make me die for no reason other than, you know, just stupid crap. Like, it's just, oh, dude, it's so, like, I don't know. It's refreshing. I'm sorry. I'm, like, ranting and raving on about it, but it's, like, honestly the most awesome thing ever. I do want to do, like, a graphical comparison video here in the future at 1080 60 FPS to see if you guys can, like, notice the difference between the two. And, because I don't know if a lot of people have computers that can actually run maximum settings, but the one issue with YouTube is that even though, like, I'll upload in, like, really beast quality and, like, the highest internet settings and all these crazy cool things, it doesn't really matter because YouTube downscales, like, the quality of the video automatically. And it's, like, super lame because I moved out and got an office space with, like, crazy good internet. 
and bought like this, you know, all this equipment so that I can have like really high quality videos. And then YouTube's just like by default, like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, we're gonna jack down the quality so it doesn't really matter anyways. And it's like, really? It's like, they're just like, yeah, that's what we do. And we're just like, come on, man. Like, that's so lame. Like, all we wanna do is provide some sick quality for our viewers. And we can't even do that. No, Saitama. No. I refuse to let you kill my home dog like that. This guy's either gonna go upstairs or downstairs. Which way is he gonna go? I don't think he actually went anywhere. I just got my first UAV of the game. That's actually sad. Like, that's sad. Really sad. And I got a bad feeling about this side, too, man. I'm gonna stay down. I'm ducking down for now. I feel like somebody's got a ghost on and they're coming over. But not my teammates don't give a fudge, though. They're just going straight in. Like, this is a bad idea. Going out with a freaking... <laughs> going out with my sniper first is never a good idea. I always should pull out the, the El Carl. The El Car Oh, my God. Was he following me the whole time? He was. He was following me literally the entire time. I managed to actually overcome our teammate. He was really doing a good job. Oh, this guy right here. There he is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have no idea where that guy came from. Please don't be in the upstairs. Oh, I think somebody's coming to our left. It's probably Saitama. No, it's not. I think it's our teammate. I thought somebody dipped down there. Where did the LMG go? There he is. I got him. I got him. Oh god, no, I don't. He's really good. Oh, he's good. He's coming for me, too. He's chasing. He's a chaser. Oh, he's coming out the window, isn't he now? I'm backing up, dudes. Where's this guy go? Oh, he just got killed by my teammate. Good job, teammate. All right, good. You, you got rid of that guy. He was a tyrant, anyways. Oh, I missed. Bad shots. Oh, he repeeked it. Re Wait, did he repeek it? Oh, no, okay. It was somebody else. I was like, that is not a smart idea. Peeking a sniper like that would be very risky. But his teammate had his back. Oh, there we go. Oh, teammate, I'm sorry. I did not have your back. Not quite like that guy did. That guy was having backs on backs on back. Like, I'm hitting some decent shots here, too. That's, like, the sad thing. I've just been, like, I think really unfortunate with spawn points and where these guys have kind of been. Also, we're, we're fighting against a knifer, which is, like, you think, yeah, it's easy. Like, the dude's got a knife. you got a sniper. It's a no-brainer. It's, like, mm, I'm not sure about that. You know what I mean? Like, not sure about that. Also, these shots, like, my quickscopes are just, like, oh, yeah, I see what you're trying to do. He's trying to go in for the stun, and then I think he's going to knife us or something like that. We were like, nah, fam. Oh, come on. Why did I miss that shot? I shouldn't have... Oh, I misaimed that so bad. Here, let me go out there, dude. There we go. We got one. I'll get two. Let me get three-piece, three-piece. Oh, I think there's going to be a knifer coming in. Unless they're coming in from behind us. There he is. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, my God, that shot was sick. I don't even care if I die right here. That was an epic shot. I can't believe I managed to clip that guy. Literally just clipped him as he was sliding. I guess it like shot and hit a wall or something like that Because I, I thought the SVG was always a one-shot or maybe not always a one-shot But I thought it was like majority of the time a one-shot gun But I suppose like not every time it can be a one-shot It'd be kind of ridiculous, but we're actually having a really good a good match here I just need to get like in a better spot I'm playing kind of aggressive with the sniper and this is like one of my first gameplay videos with it ever So give me some time to warm up with it and in future videos I guarantee you guys will be doing like loads and loads better because like right now I'm kind of playing like really foolishly like I should have peeked that from the rock why did I go to the window? Nobody knows. Just pressing things, you know what I mean? The tumbler and all that stuff. Um, all right, and I've actually still got my glitch, which is kind of nice. I thought I wasted it right there, but whoa! All right, that guy got hit by the... Oh, my gosh. I don't know if that guy... That guy definitely did not die. Oh, my gosh, dude. I can't stand the knifers in this game. Okay, the three things. The main three things in this game that bother me. The knives. All right, the knives are really frustrating. Not, not the biggest deal. They'd be like my least complaint out of the complaints that I have, which I have a decent amount of complaints, I think. This guy is totally within my kill range, and I can't hit him. It's, it's, it's kind of annoying. It can, yo, like, you're right there in the... Oh, my God. Every time, man. Every time he's got the freaking speed on, and he's just going in with the knife. So, knives are pretty annoying. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're kind of frustrating, and sometimes bashes are a one-hit bash. I don't understand that. Like, even when it's not from the back, sometimes I've gotten a one-kill bash, and the guys have one-kill bash me. I don't know if it's the weapon they're using or what it is, but it's really, really frustrating. But, oh my gosh, that was a terrible entry right there. What was I thinking? Please don't come to that. Oh, oh, this is risky. What am I doing? I'm blocked. I'm stuck. I, of course, as I'm getting stuck. Oh, I can see him in there, dude. I can literally see him. Nah, fam. Am I not going to kill this guy? I'm not going to kill him. He's going to come out and kill me. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, G spikes. That's, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you for you letting me use you as an example. So gravity spikes are obviously incredibly irritating. And in my opinion, should be heavily, heavily nerfed to just do damage and stun in an AoE versus like... Like, you know what they need? They need a game master. Like, I know David Found a Heart is technically like the game master. But they need somebody who is like more of a game master. Like, somebody who like, it's like, wow. This doesn't make any logical sense. Why would we have it in the game? Like, they buffed the shotguns. Like, 
Really, Treyarch? Really? Come on, come on. I, I mean, I know I'm bringing up some kind of like bad blood and some stuff that's been going on for a while, but still, it's very unfortunate. And I don't like it. But yeah, anyways, other in other news, well, actually, I'll mention this like, in another video. I'll probably double mention it. But I am going to PAX South this weekend. If you dudes or ladies are going to be there, I'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And love your videos. Saitama, much love, dude. Much love. Although, your freaking knifing was so obnoxious. All I want to do is get the wrench so I can do what Saitama is doing. The one thing I do really like about Black Ops PC servers is that they're always in Dallas. I get like 25 ping every time. So I have no excuse on the latency side. But now that I've fixed like my graphical stuttering issues, I can now freaking play normally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you guys a link to a... It's going to be a very big link and it's going to probably look like I'm going to try to hack you. But trust me, I'm not trying to hack you. So what this link is going to bring you to is probably GitHub and it's my config. And so what you can do is you can navigate into like your Steam folder and then there's your Steam apps folder. And in your Steam apps folder is your Black Ops 3 game. And in your Black Ops 3 game, there's a config folder. Don't worry, I'll put it down below in the description so you guys can navigate it hopefully without any issues. What you're going to do is copy and paste that config inside of your config on Black Ops 3 if you play on the PC and hopefully you guys don't get any of the frame rate issues. Now you're probably going to want to lower your graphics a little bit depending on you know the kind of computer you're running but like I'll give you guys an example of my graphics right now so you guys can have like a little bit of a better understanding but my graphics are almost maxed out like I've got 144 hertz monitors obviously I don't have sync every frame or draw FPS on it bothers me I don't like it uh, but you can see right here I've got extra high high extra I mean like these are the highest the settings are going to go to right so uh, except for volumetric lighting. I guess I didn't put that on. I'll put that on for the next video. And then I put on... Oh, I didn't even actually have my anti-aliasing on maximum. So I might need to do that. But yeah, anyways. So that were th these were my settings. And I'll post them down below in a big config file. And I guess if enough people don't understand how to do this, maybe I'll make an unlisted video. And I'll mention it in my next public video on how to do it. So if you guys are like, you know, want to see it more, thumbs up a comment that's got like 100 thumbs up or whatever. Or like, please make a video explaining how to do it. Remember, this is only for PC players. Not for console players. But you guys shouldn't be expecting experiencing lag issues anyway. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, take care, have an awesome shape day, and I'll see y'all in my next video, everybody.